Uh, hello, we are with uh, Mark Shuttleworks. Hello, Mark. Hi there. <laughs> uh, who are you? Uh, my name is Mark Shuttleworth. I am the CEO of Canonical Limited, which is the company behind Ubuntu, the uh, very popular Linux distribution. Okay. Uh, what is Ubuntu? Ubuntu is a Linux distribution. It is a free software platform uh, for consumers. It is a replacement for uh, Windows and Office. It's a complete software environment. Um, we have a server edition, we have a netbook edition, and we have a desktop edition. Okay, uh, now, uh, now you are working uh, on the desktop uh, ergonomy and uh, design. Can you tell us about it? Uh, yes, a big focus for us is uh, is usability, ease of use. Uh, we want Ubuntu to to, to uh, reflect the very best free software, but we also want it to uh, be very easy to use for any consumer anywhere in the world. Um, so we focus on a number of things. We focus on choosing the the, the uh, free software which is most usable. We focus on design and helping people design uh, improve the design of the the, the, the free software, um, and we focus on translation. Making that software usable in, in uh, any language in the world. Okay, and uh, also you, you've been talking uh, about Cadence as mean uh, to have better interaction between uh, the different uh, the communities, the different community around uh, Linux. What uh, can you tell us? Mm, sure. Uh, when you look at how free software is produced, um, the heart of free software innovation happens in uh, thousands of small projects. Um, they may be one person, they may be 50 people, they are experts, they are expert developers, they are passionate about a particular piece of technology. It might be the browser, it might be the email client, it might be the kernel, it might be the database, it may be a programming language. We call the, each of those individual groups a, a community. Um, and they produce all the components that we bring together and deliver to end users as Ubuntu. Um, at the moment, each of those projects um, organizes themselves completely independently. Um, so they make releases at different times. Uh, and that makes it very difficult to test the whole ecosystem and to be confident that the whole platform works well together. We, we do very well with that in Ubuntu, but we think that free software would be more powerful if there was um, if it was easier for multiple distributions to, to use the same to pick the same components of each of those thousands of pieces. So what we what we've proposed is um, uh, the idea of a two-year cadence in the free software ecosystem. We already see many projects uh, adopting time-based releases. So they make a release every three months or every four months or every six months on a very strict basis. Um, they, they deliver features into those releases only if the feature is ready and the, and the release will be stable. Regardless, on, on a strict cadence, they, 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 they make short-term releases. What we're proposing now is that in addition to making short-term releases every three to six months, we also invite projects to make um, uh, uh, enterprise quality long-term supported releases um, every two years. Um, so that would mean, for example, that um, uh, the kernel would make a release every two years that they, that, that they believe can be supported for many years. Um, the browser would make a release every two years that they believe can be supported for many years. What that would do to the whole ecosystem is make it much easier for collaboration between multiple developers who are using different um, distributions. It would mean that a developer on one distribution could talk to a developer on a different distribution um, and be seeing the same set of bugs, um, be able to collaborate on the fixes for those bugs, and, th and, and, and the results of that collaboration would be more widely applicable to more people. So it's a very simple idea, a very powerful idea. It's an idea that really plays to the strengths of free software. You can't do that in the proprietary world but we can do it in the free software world and uh, and, and we certainly hope that it uh, is, is widely adopted okay uh, thank you for this interview uh, see you it's a pleasure to meet you thanks